It was a crisp autumn day in New England during the year of 1844 when William Miller, a Baptist preacher, gathered along with his followers to witness the appearing of Christ. William Miller based this theory on a prophecy found in the biblical book of Daniel. However, being fully aware of the great possibility for error, William Miller was very reluctant to set an exact date, though he did believe Christ's return was imminent. Based on his as well as the interpretation of his colleague Samuel S. Snow, it was theorized that Christ would return October 22, 1844. The key text for this prophecy is found in Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, where it reads, Unto 2,300 days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. He applied the biblical principle that in prophecy, a day symbolizes one year. This principle is found in the books of Numbers, chapter 1434, and Ezekiel, chapter 4, verse 6. Based on these texts, he logically concluded that this was a prophecy that covered a 2,300-year time span, and if he could find the starting point, he would know when the sanctuary would be cleansed. It is important to note that the popular theory of that time period was that the earth was the sanctuary. Through his exhaustive study of the Bible, as well as his intensive study of world history, he found the starting point he had been looking for in Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. This text explains that the starting point would be from the command to rebuild Jerusalem. Historical record shows this decree was given by Artaxerxes I of Persia in the year 457 B.C. So Miller simply added 2,300 years to that date plus one year for the year zero. The year he came up with was 1844. It is also important to reiterate that this was a theory of William Miller based on much sound evidence and logic. Even so, he always presented this theory to others with a measure of caution in case there was something that may have been overlooked or misunderstood. On the other hand, he was also careful to take this discovery seriously in the event that it would come true. Based on all the evidence at hand, William Miller and his followers, sometimes called Millerites, gathered on October 22, 1844 at his farm, where they waited in vain for Christ to return. When Christ did not appear, Miller's followers experienced what came to be known as the Great Disappointment. After the Great Disappointment, many of the thousands who had joined this Second Advent Awakening left it in deep disillusionment. A few realizing that it was human error in the interpretation and still trusting in the Bible fully went back to re-examine this prophecy more closely to uncover where they had gone wrong. After much prayer and further study, they reconfirmed the year 1844 as being correct. However, the event had been wrong. They found that this date did not foretell the return of Christ, but instead it was when the judgment in heaven would officially begin. It marked Christ entering into the most holy place in the heavenly sanctuary. After coming to understand this, their faith was renewed, and they permanently abandoned the attempt to predict when Christ would return to the earth. Yet they were strengthened in their faith and in the fact that Christ would soon come again. From the small group who refused to give up after the great disappointment arose several leaders who built the foundation that would become the Seventh-day Adventist Church.